Okay. My name is Charlene Jesperson. Uh, these ladies spoke so eloquently. I'll speak briefly, but about a very important part of our of our mission was to distribute the quilts once they were all completed. And it was a big undertaking. Originally, we thought we were going to get a few quilts and give them to the survivors of the victims. Uh, we were so overwhelmed with quilts that they, you know, they, as you can, if you go inside here, you can see if they were all inside of here, they would come way up into here in this, in this square, a huge amount of quilts. So we had to decide who was going to get those quilts. Um, we were able to the gener due to the generosity of the community to be able to go to the hospital and give it to the first res uh, to the, uh, the staff at the hospital to the first responders. I was part of the distribution for uh, the police department. So you can imagine people around the world were sending in blocks and quilts. And so if you see these hands. I, I was fortunate to be able to act as the hands of you in a quilting community. And you know, I felt the emotion and I hope somehow we can relay that emotion to you. The quilting world wanted to do something uh, to tell these people, yes, we recognize, we felt your pain, we, we want to do something. And, and here is a tangible object. Uh, and you would see grown men in a flat, in a, what do you call the body armor and everything. And they'd say, oh, do I get to have one? And they'd pick one out and you know, it's just so very touching. So even though you see three gals here, you should see beyond us and see all of you or anybody in the community and across the world who sent individual blocks because your love was passed on. Uh, and these pictures all around the outside, you know, you could sit here and try to find, find yeah. your block or your quilt. Good luck with that, but, <laughs> but, but they are all here. Thank you so very much.